All right, so now we are in step 69, which is all about resizing, cropping, and aligning a graphics. Um, since we've entered images into our document, you want to make sure that the images are um, they're formatted properly in your document. So the first thing that we will do is notice that the image that we, we um, entered into our document um, when I click outside of the document the image is not selected but when I click on the picture two things notice two things one these are called size sizing handles it allows you to size the picture and notice that when I place my insertion point on top of one of the sizing handles I get a double headed arrow alright also Notice the Picture Tools tab. This is very important because when I click outside of my picture, it disappears. Click on the picture and it returns. So you need your Picture Tool tab to do any type of formatting to your existing picture. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we'll do is File and Save As. And we will save Tours 1 as Tours 2. Okay, now make sure you've clicked on the picture to get your sizing handles. And the first thing we're going to do is crop our picture. Now, the purpose of cropping your picture is to cut space out of the picture, it's different from resizing. When you resize your picture, it changes um, the width or the length of the picture when you crop it actually cuts out of the picture so notice we have extra white space in this picture and it looks kinda off from our title so we want to crop it out so it'll look um, a little bit more presentable in our document so move to your um, size group and find your crop button and notice you get handles Basically, what we want to do is we want to crop out the white space. So, and be careful that you don't actually cut your picture because I'll give you an example right now of me cropping out too much. Notice I actually cut out a uh, part of my picture. So, you definitely don't want to do that. So, be careful. So, now we're ready to crop. Using our cropping handles, when I move my insertion point here, to get the little symbol it lets me know that I can click and drag in to crop and I think that's pretty good I can move down a little bit here because all I'm doing is getting rid of the right white space and at the bottom I can move it up to get rid of a little bit of the white space not too much and Notice the gray area lets me know how much I'm actually cropping. So once I'm ready to accept, I can just click out of my document and notice now um, it's decreased quite a bit of the white space in the image. Click out. Then if you mess up when you crop, remember undo is your friend don't keep going forward make sure you undo immediately so that you can go back and fix it so basically that's how you um, crop your image and I have my ruler up on my screen if you want to use the ruler to go by the measurements if you needed to crop it a certain size then your ruler would be a great guide that um, to use for your um, cropping. So the next thing that we will do with our image is text wrap our photo. So if you move to a range group, notice you have text wrap. If you drop down on the text wrap arrow, you get several different options and it gives you a little image of what it does. But not only that, as you move your mouse over each listing, it gives you a preview on your document of what it looks like.
Well, we want to select type. So notice when you select type, it positions your image within your text. So I can move my image anywhere in my text, wherever I prefer my text to be. To be. So I would like to move it, let's see, I think here is a good place. Um, in my um, within my first paragraph scroll down to your second picture that we entered into our document and notice this image is very large too large for the document so click on it to select and again you have your sizing handles So there's a couple ways that you can resize your image. One, um, a couple ways that you don't ever want to do with your picture is to shrink either the length or the width. Because notice it changes the image. Or you don't want to size it this way because let's see what it did it basically smashes smashes your person makes them look smashed see that so it actually changes the picture so if you want to use the manual way of resizing you always want to get it from from an angle and drag it in and what happens is it keeps your proportions of your length and width um, the way it's supposed to be. It doesn't change or alter your image. And again, if I wanted to say I wanted it at my 2 inch mark and then my... I think that's a good size. Make it a little bigger. Another way is if you look at your sizing, you can increase or decrease. And notice when I click on my width, the length changes. So it adjusts both. No matter which one you click on, it adjusts. So that's a couple of different ways you just learned to size your image. All right. So we've resized our image. Um, you also have picture styles where you can add a picture style to your image. And the great thing is that it does give you a preview of what it looks like. You can change the picture effects. Um, you can change the edges to soft edges. I like using the soft edges, 3D rotation, all kind of cool effects that you can play around with. Um, but we're going to go back to our wrap text, and this time I think we will select square. And notice when you select square, it basically puts your text in line with your image. So let's move it to the end and notice it just falls right in line with your text as well. And I think I will make my edges a little soft just because I think it blends it into my document. So let me zoom in so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, we basically resized, played around with our text wrapping, we cropped our image. Um, there's all different things you can play around with using 
um, your format for your picture tools. Don't be afraid to play around. Undo is always your friend. If you mess up, you can simply go back and undo. But don't just um, insert your images into your document without using your picture tools to actually format to make sure that your pictures and your graphics um, are inserted nicely to enhance your document. Go ahead and save. And this concludes this step.